Passport. War, prison, refuge, airport, passport, stuck. The following is a riveting true story that's still happening right now. It's the story of a guy who has been living in an airport terminal on the floor for six months with no way of getting out. The first question on your mind is, how did someone end up like that? For that, I have to introduce you to the man himself. Hi, my name is Hassan. Hassan is originally from Syria. Before the war started in Syria, Hassan had a nice job, a nice life, a nice apartment, living in the United Arab Emirates. But all of a sudden, a war broke out in my country. He was called to join the Syrian army, but he refused. I didn't want to kill my people or anything else. So he stayed in the United Arab Emirates, working, making money, and living a nice life until his passport expired. Syria refused to renew his passport. He got stuck in the UAE, he lost his job, overextended his stay, and ended up in a detention camp. I became a refugee in jail overnight. For this old marketing executive, life changed 180 degrees. After a complicated legal process, he found himself at the Malaysian airport with no valid passport, so he couldn't enter the country or leave it. He left the plane, walked to the terminal, and stayed there in limbo. He had two options ahead of him. Go home to Syria and be thrown in jail. Or option two, live in this airport. So he chose option two. For 180 days, Hassan has not left the terminal. He has not had a breath of fresh air. He has not had a comfy bed. He has not had a warm shower because this is how he showers. A cold water at the disabled people's bathroom. This is like the ice bucket challenge every day. He eats three airport meals every day and I'm getting sick of it. It's the same meal every single day and spends 24 hours every day stuck in a lonely, lonely airport. Every day is harder than the previous one. All because he didn't want to join a dictator's army. We go to airports and we can't wait to leave, but this guy has been living in one for six months. And to get him out of this jail, he has only one option. And no, it's not marriage, even though a lot of people offer to marry him. But I say no. His one option to leave the airport is Canada. A group of Canadian volunteers are right now trying to get him a refugee status in Canada. God, I love Canada. They found him a sponsor, they found him a job, and they filed a form for him. And the first phase of this application, I got approved. And now all he needs is to wait for the second approval to get to Canada, which should arrive any time in 26 months. 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 26 months of waiting is his only option right now. That's his only option. And our only option is to tell the world that this guy exists. That there is a guy who's living in Terminal 2 in Kuala Lumpur behind an escalator with no bed, no shower, no freedom, and no future. This is just a story of one person out of millions who had to suffer because they didn't want to be part of a war they didn't believe in. Life is all about having a strong belief system. This guy missed his father's funeral and his brother's marriage. It's high time he gets the attention he deserves.